Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Thank you for tuning in to part five of this bike build. In this episode, we're gonna talk about installing a set of handlebars. Okay, my friends, we've now come to the stage where we need to install a set of handlebars. I can't set up the brakes really um, or the, uh, the shifting without the handlebars, so we're gonna put the handlebars on. Um, this is not gonna be a long video, but there's just a couple things I wanted to touch on. Remember, this is a 101 series. I'm doing this so that everyone has a level playing field to start on, so um, there's a couple things that I think you should know about when you install a set of handlebars. Let's get on those right now. Okay, first things first is that um, you'll of course purchase a set of handlebars that are going to fit your style of riding. There are different types of handlebars, um, meaning, well, first of all, there's carbon and then there's aluminum, so that's one thing. But you'll get handlebars that have a higher or lower rise and then also an angle that tilts back. So you need to kind of mess around with handlebars. And that's why I want to kind of go through this because this, even if you buy a brand new bike, there's a very good chance at some point you'll change your handlebars. As you learn more about your bike, you're going to want to tune it to fit your needs and you could very likely change the handlebars that you're going to be riding with or have right now. A couple things that you'll need to do this, it's a very simple project. Number one, you'll need the handlebars, which is a given. You're going to need an Allen, an Allen key, an Allen wrench, okay, to adjust the actual um, bolts on the stem and possibly you may need a, um, a, a saw tool. Okay, this is a saw guide. You can learn more about this tool on the earlier video I did on how to install a fork. I actually show you how I use this and cut this. We're going to kind of show how to use this here for this process, but I really don't like the idea of someone just hacking the hell out of their handlebars with a hacksaw. You really should have a proper tool to do this. So let me show you how this whole thing works right now. Your handlebars will have lengths, like this is 12 millimeters, 24 millimeters, 36, 48 millimeters. So they'll actually give you the length that you're cutting off, uh, more or less detail. Some of them just have lines. But you want to try to use these as guidelines for how wide you want to cut your handlebars down. The best way to decide if you should cut your handlebars down or not is by putting them on full length and then going for a ride and giving that a try. Since we're doing a bike build, I'm just gonna show it to you like this. It's just a little bit easier to do because I have the bike up in the rack so I can show it to you this way. But um, ideally, you wanna give this a try, right? You shouldn't just be hacking away at your handlebars and not even know if it's gonna work for you. This guide has a slot in it. You'll see the slot right here. You line that up with whatever line you wanna cut on the handlebar and you use your hacksaw and that's how you cut. I'll show you what it looks like right now. I have the handlebars now mounted inside of this saw guide. Okay, I've picked a specific line. This would be the 24 millimeter line inside of here. The saw blade would go through here and you'd cut down and trim off your handlebars. I'm not gonna cut it right now because like I said, I, I haven't even tried the bike yet with the bars. I don't know what width I want, but just so you see how it's gonna mount and how you'd cut it, I mean, I know that people will dispute whether or not they should have this tool. If you're going to work on your bike often and change a lot of parts on the bike or just something to think about, it's just a good idea to have, uh, I think anyway, this tool to do a clean cut on your handlebars. In this case, I'm not going to be cutting the bars. I do need to install them. So I'm going to take off the, the four bolts on the stem. Be careful when you take these off. A lot of them will have a washer in here. This washer is kind of set in space, so it's not going to fall off. But some of them have washers and they fall on the ground. And then you're going to curse all the day, wondering where the hell that little washer went. Okay, you'll go and put your bars inside of this clamp and just try to tighten this up a little bit with your hand, just so you have it in place. One will keep it in there, okay? Just with the one, at least you can start doing some work now with these, all right? But here's what I wanna show you about putting the handlebars in place. What you're gonna see is that I'm going to uh, be screwing these in in a specific uh, pattern. Now, I know you might think it's not a big deal, but it actually is. We're just, we're just setting up the bike right now. 
But regardless, this is still important when you're using the bike anyway. I'm gonna tighten up this top one. I don't care if it's this one or this, you tighten up one. And then you always tighten up the one directly diagonal to it. So now I'm gonna tighten up this one, okay? Now I'm gonna go up top and tighten up this one. And now I'm gonna go down below directly diagonal and tighten up this one. This is important because by doing it this way, you're spreading the load across all these bolts evenly. The spacing up on top will be even. You're not just cranking this down and then pulling this in, which is gonna bend things uh, uh, improperly. So I know that you would think handlebars are just the easiest thing in the world to put on, and they pretty much are, but just at least know how to cut the handlebars. Again, with the tool that I mentioned, I just like using the tool and realize that there is a specific way you wanna tighten these bars. That's all it takes to install a set of handlebars. We'll be going through um, the brakes, the grips, uh, the shifting and everything next, but I gotta get these bars on to move forward. They're on, so let's move on through the rest of the process. Again, thank you for tuning into this episode and stay tuned, there's a whole lot more coming up.